today I'm going to show you Matthew C. Epsilon, which is fractions. And let's start here with the instruction manual. If you're unfamiliar with Matthew C., there is also a video component. You can either get it on DVD or you can get the digital pack or you can get them both. I do personally prefer the digital pack. And also if you get the digital packs now, it does come with lifetime access. If you've previously purchased a digital pack, you can call Matthew C and upgrade your digital pack for lifetime access for only a dollar. The awesome thing about the digital pack is, is it has the video lessons plus the teacher guide online for you. I much prefer that, but maybe you prefer having a DVD and a physical instruction manual because maybe you don't have internet access or something of that nature that that's easier for you, then this would be better. But I prefer the digital pack personally. That's just a side note. Okay, so let's take a look at the Epsilon book. Now, Epsilon, if we're going by grades, is sort of equivalent to fifth grade if we consider primer or primer, however you want to say it, in kinder. So kinder, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. That's not always the case. The thing is, Matthew C. is a mastery program. There are 30 lessons, as you can see here, and if you want to pause the screen to see all the lessons, you can do that now. But it starts with fraction of a number, and then it goes into fraction of one, add and subtract fractions, equivalent fractions, and goes all the way down to finding the area of a trapezoid. So even though it's fractions, we get into mixed numbers, which are, of course, fractions, and then um, solving for an unknown. And then at the very end here, we get more into the geometry type concepts, area and circumference of a circle, um, and the finding the area of the trapezoid. So I do notice that Matthew C. tends to throw things in in order to make sure that everything is covered across the scope of their lessons. So here we have um, how to use. Basically, Matthew C. offers a lot of support. If you get stuck, you can call them and, you, and they'll help you. They have some of the best customer service. Um, so anyway, step one is to prepare for the lesson. Step two is to present and explore the new concept together. Step three is to practice for mastery. And step four is to progress after mastery. How long should a lesson take? And this will vary from student to student. You may spend a day on a new topic or you may spend several days. So really, again, this is a mastery program. And so here is what the teacher guide looks like. And so it gives written information along with visuals to explain the lesson. So you can, like I said, go by this in order to teach the lesson if you don't like the video component. I just said like I said and I don't know that I actually said that, but <laughs> I'm saying it now. So in other words, if you hate videos for some reason, then that's okay. You can use just the teacher guide to teach the lesson. So that's um, another thing to keep in mind too. But of course, most people who use Matthew C do use the video lessons, but it's your homeschool, you can do it however you want. There's some strategies for word problems and, and then some questions here, so um, cautions. And then we get into lesson two, fraction of one. So again, this is just the information for the teacher to teach it to the child. And so that's how it goes, okay? And then, after all that, we get into the answer key. Now, again, this answer key is online if you purchase the digital pack. Under each lesson, you can find the answer key if you have the digital pack. So um, anyway, so now let's take a look at the student workbook and the test, okay? So here we're going to jump into the student workbook. There is this sheet in the front so you can keep track of your student's progress. So you can, uh, the, there's three, uh, worksheets of lesson practice, A, B, C, and then there's a systematic review, D, E, F, and then there's a test, okay? So you can mark off each each one they do. You can also skip these. So in other words, if your student is r really getting this on the first day, then you can skip right over to do one of the systematic systematic reviews and then the test, or you can skip right to the test if you know your kid is good on this concept. You can take the test to make sure and move on. Or you cannot do the test. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Oops. Okay, so then we have application and enrichment pages. And these provide a variety of ways to practice lesson concepts. 
they introduce new concepts that may be useful to students at this level and they enrich learning with additional age appropriate activities. I'm pretty sure these application enrichment pages were added so that they could meet um, common core standards for the public school system. Okay, so here is what uh, a lesson looks like. So 1A, so that would be something like one day's work, okay? And 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F, and then here's the application enrichment. This is an optional page, and then you would take the test, okay? And the test is in a different booklet. It's in this booklet right here, which I'll show you in a second. Then we get into lesson two, to A, to B, to C, to D, to E, to F, whoops, and then to G, which is the application and enrichment, and then you would take the test. And then we get into lesson three, okay? And so that is how this works across the whole thing. Now, the application and enrichment, um, in my opinion, they take things, they're more critical thinking type of lessons. Um, they also tend to be um, more interesting, but they also tend to be more work. Okay, with Matthew C2, the, the base of this program is the integer blocks and then in this level you also have the fraction overlays but if you are jumping in to Matthew C at say this level it is really really important for your children to memorize the colors and values of the integer blocks I just want to throw that out there I didn't realize how important that was for a while and that is extremely important to um, and memorize the colors and values of each of the integer blocks so they know, so they can see, you know, the, now I don't remember the colors, but um, that, you know, the four is yellow or something. Okay, that's probably wrong. I don't, I, I don't have to memorize, but um, anyway, that is extremely important because it will speed up their math a lot. Okay, and then we have a test book here, and so, um, now I have some tests already uh, used and out of here, but I mean a test is a test. So you can see, you know, one page front and back is the test, so 20 questions. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, so there's lesson test and then there's a unit test. See, um, this is unit test one, and that's 20, 29 questions. Okay, and then we go to lessons nine through, let's see. Let me just see when the next unit test was. Maybe it says in the beginning. I should probably go there. Nope. Oops, I tore that out already. Um, unit test three. So I skipped a unit test somewhere in there. And then I, so I think there's four unit tests is, is what I'm getting at. Let me double check. Yes, unit test four. So there's a test for every lesson four unit tests, so it covers uh, six lessons. After every six lessons or so, it looks like, uh, there's a unit test, and then there is a final test as well. Okay, so that is what the program looks like. So I hope that was helpful to you, and I hope that gave you a good idea of what this is like and what this covers. But again, this is a Mastery Approach program, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I do have a video of Matthew C. Delta, I believe, which is right before this one, and I might have a video of Gamma too. I'll link whatever I've got down below in my Matthew C. playlist, and I also have a review of Matthew C. AIM, which is um, an accelerated individual mastery program for addition and subtraction. So all that will be in the de description box so you can see the various Matthew C. products that I personally have uh, flip throughs of or reviews of. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button if you love all things homeschool because that is what this channel is about. And I will talk with you later.